my channel it's Nicole here again two words I'm back all right so I'm gonna jump straight into this video recently black China has blew up the internet literally and on top of that, she came out with this particular look. I call it, you know, a Caribbean slash summer slash, you know, mm, summer look. And I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So I saw that look, I recreated that look, and I loved it. Everyone at work loved it, because that's why I wore that's why I wore the look at work. Yeah, I know right a lot. That's a lot for work. <laughs> But that's where I recently wore the look and I got tons and tons and tons of compliments on the look. So why not recreate it for you guys and literally guys, I think I only used three eyeshadows. If all of that, I think I only used two, to tell you the truth, I only used two. But I think I'm going to use three this time, just to give it more definition. But I hope you guys are excited that I am back because I am excited. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see this look, this black china inspired look for summer. Like why not? You can wear this look anywhere. Who cares? It's bright, it's colorful, it's bold. It's it. it's not an everyday look, but we gonna do this. Uh, we gonna wear this today. Too bad. So basically I've already primed my eyelids and in case we keep looking down I'm just looking at the monitor. But base I uh, basically already primed my eyelids that's why I'm looking a little crazy and crusty up there and look like below my eyelids but and I put on a little bit of foundation not too much just because it's super hot um because it's summer so let's hope you know I haven't said it so hopefully it lasts with this video yeah <laughs> All right, guys. So two palettes I'm going to work with. I'm going to work with the Take Me to Brazil by BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to work with the Morphe 35O palette. Those are the two. Um, I haven't decided with brushes I'm going to work with as yet, but I alternate between Morphe 441, um, a NYX number 16, a Mac. I think it's a 217. I think. Yeah, I think that's a 217. Um, and maybe, no, sorry, that's not, this is not 217. This is 217. I don't remember which one this is because it got off, but it's a MAC brush as well. I'll try and see if I can list it down below. And a Morphe 433. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna work with. These three right here. And as you can see, this is the one I used for work, so still dirty, but we don't work with it. So if you guys wanna see this, look, stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna work our way from light to dark. So the first time I recreated this look, I only used the Take Me to Brazil palette. But this time I'm going to incorporate the Morphe palette for a particular shade. And it's between this orange shade. It's between this orange shade right here and this shade right here, that one. So. Yeah, so let me get a new shade I showed you first. So we'll go into that orange shade and we're going to put that right above our crease area and blend that up. And you don't want to be too neat with this shade just because you know we want that blown out smoky look. So we want the colors to blend seamlessly just because these are very, very bright colors. Just want to keep blending that out. Going to move towards the other eye. Nothing you want precise, you want everything to be like bright and bold and you know, colorful. Okay, don't mind the patchiness just because that is going to be our transition color. Get a little bit more. Focus that right there. And this is one of my favorite brush, um, brushes, guys, the Morphe 
441. I saw that this was one of Jacqueline's favorite blending brushes. Oh, you know what? Oh, I feel the Jacqueline. So, I have to smack this. Hope you guys can see that. Now, that's it for the Morphe palette. And now we're going to jump straight into the Take Me to Brazil palette. I'm going to take this this orange shade right here and just further define that shade we used from the Morphe palette. It's going to brighten the look up a bit. Now we're going to go into this red shade, this red shade right here. What happened to me today? I don't know, I think I'm a little bit too excited that I'm back, so maybe that's it. So, now the trick is to be generous with this product. With this particular shade, be generous. So we're gonna pack You just wanna keep building the intensity of the shade until you get it to the liking. You don't have to use the Take Me to Brazil palette, you can use any, any palette you have, but it's basically an orange and red look. So, any orange or red eyeshadow will do. So just packing them on on my lid. And usually I would use a packing brush, which I think I would switch to. But let's build this, let's blend this into our crease. So when we get that packing brush, it doesn't look too patchy. Yep, it's looking like it. So, have the shade on. There we go. There is that color. So we're just packing that red shade on. And I haven't highlighter or anything or contours yet. So you may want to play with these before doing all of that. Like that. So we're getting there. Just building it up some more. Because I just want this to pop. You know what I'm going to alternate between the brushes just to make sure I'm packing it on but I still want a blended flawless look. Thinking of lining this, when I wore the look, I lined it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this time. I'm really not sure. I mean, like, Black China literally blew up the internet. Like, I was at work and I was tuned into everything that was going down between her and Rob. And though it was sad to see because I honestly wanted them to to work, though I do feel as if, you know, it kind of seemed as if it was a little bit revenge, you know, a little bit of revenge on her end. But I do think, you know, she respected him and didn't want it to end that way. Now, we know celebrities could get petty. They are. So, we don't. We only see what the cameras allow us to see or what, you know, they allow us to see, honestly. And Rob, obviously, <laughs> wanted us to see it. So, you know, I, it's personally, it's, it's a preference. I would never do that, no matter how bad things get. I would never do that to a lover. But hey, I'm judging y'all. Being over she do the hell. So. Until then, you know, but at the end of the day, she is a mother of his kid. So, you know, why, why do that? Why, you know, screw that look? Like, if you guys broke up, you broke up, you know, switching back to the Morphe 441. If you guys broke up, you know, like, broke up. You know, get over it. You know, move on. And say, you know, it's over. But just trying to clean up this patchiness. Ah. 
don't know why love is looking so bad to me again. I'm trying. Or to not look so bad to me. Okay. Okay, it looks a little bit better. So. So that's basically what the look is looking like so far. So we're going to highlight and contour right now, just so we can get under our eyes before our face. And I'm using the LA Girl Color in Trophy. Usually I use Fawn, but I'm out, of, I'm out of Fawn right now, so Trophy is going to make do. I'm going to highlight the center. Of my nose and sometimes I hate doing my forehead just because like I feel like it's for people with a big forehead so that's still our cupid's bow and I'm not gonna do my chin okay maybe I'm gonna do my chin I'm just doing the most right now I'm doing the most so let's spread this out a little bit more and I learned this other trip from Jackie. Basically, let your concealer get a little bit tacky. Like, basically, let it dry a little bit. So, when you go in with your beauty blender, it doesn't soak up so much of the product just because it's a little bit dry than usual. Because LA Girls is, is very, you know, it's very. I wouldn't want to say wet, but see, it's very wet. It's very wet. I, I, I'd say that. It's very wet. So, I'm going to fan with my Morphe palette. Hopefully, I don't break it. Let the concealer get a little bit tacky. Okay, I'm going to get time for all that. So, we're going to go in with our bead blender. I'm just going to move in between the eyes just so each eye get a consistent amount of product. I'm probably gonna speed this part up right here. produce when they first launch a product I know Jeffree Star you know explain that you don't want to overproduce you rather underproduce just in case the product doesn't do well so you don't lose too much money. so the brand doesn't lose too much money if it doesn't sell out but you know something like that like you should know you know your product is going to sell out. like ja at least Jacqueline palette sold out like immediately but then I think she restocked immediately and now her next restock I think is August 18th which I am waiting on I did not get a chance to get my hand on that and I'm so glad like this is what happened so here I am on Morphe's website added it to my cart press checkout and my internet at work was moving slow yes I was at work buying this palette so don't judge me. So here I am pressing, you know, check out, check out, check out. And when it refreshed, it told me it was all sold out. I'm like, how? Because I got the chance to add this to my cart, which means there will stop still there. And the minute my internet decides to move slow, there goes the product. I was so mad. I was going to contour with 
my Anastasia. Ooh, this is fancy. This is fancy. Continue with my Anastasia contour kit. I'm just going to. smoke out this color underneath our bottom lashes. I'm going to use those same two colors in the Take Me to Brazil palette. I'm going to start off with that orange shade. Come a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. as our transition color basically just smoking the bottom of our lashes out with that red shade We are basically going to dust this off. I'm going to throw on mascara, lashes, line my, la line my eyes, and then I'll come back. This looks dope. Yes, guys, this is the final look. All I did was use my Anastasia Glow Kit, my Anastasia Lip Kit, and I lined my eyes, I put on mascara, and I put on lashes. These lashes are from She's Blinking. That's a local um, store, a local supply store, a local store here. But she is on Instagram, so I'm not sure if you can get her products, if she shipped worldwide, if she shipped to the US or anywhere else. But I would definitely ask her. I would still leave her contact below. But this look, though. Mm. Now I feel like going out, like now I just feel like going out and like slaying the town. Mmm. Yeah. Like I when I saw this look, I instantly fell in love. I'm not gonna lie, like whoever did black chance makeup that day, ooh, I'd talk to you because you slayed her look and I just want you guys to like it. If you do that if guys, if you do try this look, make sure you tag me in it. Make sure to comment below. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be back. Hopefully I'm going to try and push out videos every Thursday. I lie. I'm going to try and push out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Let's do it twice a week. I'm going to try and stick to a goal twice a week. No matter what the video is, twice a week. I'm going to try and post a video on YouTube. But definitely guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram, 
I will leave my handles below and in the video, but my Instagram is mkcole. You can follow me on my blog, which is www.mkcole.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want to see a look on this, if you guys want to see a lip look, let me know, because I is killer that palette, like, hmm, scrumptious. But yes, guys, this is the final look, and I absolutely love it. So, you take me out tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!